Ouse Valley Viaduct is probably one of the most photographed places in the UK. The viaduct is about a 20 minute drive from Crawley and in this video I visited the viaduct to see what made it so special. I've just arrived at the viaduct which is just ahead of me. Um, there's a lay by where you can park which is about 100, 150 yards from the viaduct so very short walk. The only problem is there's only space for about maybe five, six cars so you have to come here quite early in the day or quite late in the day. Um, I'll put the what three words uh, location for it in the description below so that you guys can use that when you come here. I should also probably add if like the lay-by is full you can park at the Ardenly Reservoir Car Park which is about five ten minutes down the road from the lay-by. The only thing is from the Reservoir Car Park to uh, the viaduct is about a mile walk and apparently sort of in the winter slash autumn months it can get quite muddy so make sure you pack some good walking boots to get through that you can see the viaduct in all its glory ahead of me apologies if it appears a bit gloomy on the footage as you can see it's a very grey day today but yeah um as you can see there's loads of arches in fact there's a total of 33 arches which make which run along the length of the viaduct and you can see why it's such a like sort of like instagram buffet photographic place. I'm going to try and get closer to the arches and climb on top of them. Apparently they're quite short or quite low so even for a short guy like myself I should be able to climb on top of them fairly easily or at least that's what the internet says and yeah hopefully once I get on top of the arches I can get a really good photo of sort of the arches in a line. I've just come down to one end of the viaduct where you can sort of see the river ooze in front of me. Uh, it's very small but obviously during the ice age it would have been a lot bigger to create this valley and yeah the arches on this end are quite big um, and quite high up but if you go sort of further in that direction the arches are a lot sort of lower down and it's much easier to climb you can sort of see why the viaduct is so popular for photography I mean, look at those leading lines that you can get and especially with all the symmetry of like the arches yeah it's just a really amazing spot really unique as well and the fact that it's only about 40 50 minutes away from where i live it's just so perfect and i wish i'd sort of explored this earlier um one thing i would say is it does get quite packed around here so make sure you come here quite early in the day so you get uh, sort of unrestricted views Just walked along the footpath a bit so you can, so you guys can get a better view of the whole viaduct and yeah you can see like how sort of massive it is and how far it stretches um, apparently according to various sources this is supposed to be the most elegant viaduct in the uk and for those of you who are familiar with your british history you'll know that a lot of viaducts were built sort of around the roman time so the fact that this is the most elegant viaduct in the uk it's a pretty big claim to fame. Um, there's also the, I think the Glenfiddich or Glen, Glenfin Viaduct in Scotland, which uh, is also pretty majestic as well. Uh, that's, that's the one from Harry Potter, if you guys have seen it. But yeah, it's a very nice viaduct. Um, there isn't too much to do sort of around the viaduct area. It's just a whole bunch of farms, all of which have been sort of closed off. But I guess it's good to just come and see the viaduct and take photos if you're a photography enthusiast. So the viaduct was constructed in the 1800s as a railway bridge um, and it's still, it's still used as a railway bridge to this day. Um, it's on the London to Brighton line so you might have seen the viaduct uh, whenever you, if you've ever got the train down to Brighton from London. And another interesting fact to note is that you can probably see, at least from the other clips in this video, that the viaduct was built by bricks. And sort of a fun fact, 11 million bricks were used in the production, well, in the construction of the viaduct, all of which were shipped from Holland. So yeah guys, that was that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it's my first video in the UK in about five or six months. Uh, had a wonderful summer of traveling, but that's it, I guess, for this year. So unfortunately for the next few months, it'll be sort of UK based videos like this. But yeah, hopefully I've given you an idea of somewhere, if you're like a photography enthusiast, hopefully I've given you an idea of somewhere where you can come and take some nice photos. Uh, make sure you check out my Instagram for all the photos to see all the photos I took today. And yeah, as always, I hope you guys are doing well. Make sure you like and subscribe as always. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.